Hello guys, welcome back to another video, Jamo here, bringing you the next episode of my FIFA 15 career mode with Chelsea. In today's episode we have a Cup of the One Cup quarter final match against Norwich at home. We also have Manchester United at home in the league and then we take on Zenit St. Petersburg in the final group stage game of the Champions Cup. Um, last episode we picked up two wins against Fulham and Swansea in the league, take us up the second in the league behind Sunderland, who are the current league leaders. We also lost to Fenerbahce 1 0 in the Champions Cup group stage. That loss took us from the top of the group to third. So, beat, if we beat win, it, the game against Zenit, it's a must win if we are going to go into the knockout rounds of the Champions League instead of into the knockout rounds or the Europa League or out of Europe altogether. Um, so, let's just jump straight into this first match against Norwich. Right then, guys, for this first match against Norwich in the Capital One Cup, we have Courtois and goal. Ivanovic, Ake, Zuma and Asper, the at the back, Fabregas and Matis in the CDM positions, William, William and Oscar in Cam, and Diego Costa and Yassin Jakali partnered up front once again. Uh, we are at home for this match against Norwich in the Capital One Cup, as you guys can see. Norwich have Ben Foster in goal, Martin Besson, um, Janschik, uh, Olsen at the back, Housen, Bennett in midfield, I don't even know who to sort of, sort of struggle to even read that, but Shikawi plays Diego Costa in after 20 minutes or so, gets his first shot away, outside of the foot and uh, Ben Foster matches it with the same, coming on another attack five minutes later, Fabregas going forward, defending his weak by Norwich and he slots it into the bottom right hand corner absolutely perfectly. And uh, which we take the lead midway through the first half in the gap of the one cup. Call the final winning this takes us into a two legged semi final in January. And uh, as you can see, just briefly, I had to pause it because how Courtois couldn't save that, I have absolutely no idea. It just creeped through his legs 10 minutes later. You'll see it here in full in the replay. How could well briefly in the replay anyway, but how Courtois couldn't say that I have absolutely no idea. It's one all on the brink of half time. Shikawi coming forward to try and make sure we're winning this game at half time, but Ben Forster is forced into the save to give us the corner. And yet another chance to take the lead for the second time in this match. Right on the brink of half time. Fabregas plays it over to Ash Billy Quetta. And does very well indeed. This gives a deflection of the keeper and uh, we take the lead. Um Right on the brink of half time through the left back, Aspili Quetta. He's getting into the habit of scoring goals lately. And uh, just for him, sitting on the edge of the box to receive the corner. It's a nice bit of luck. And uh, Ben Foster should have done better there. Into the second half, 10 minutes in. William over to Yasin Shikawi, headed down back into William's path. And a lovely volley into the bottom left hand corner with 35 minutes left on the clock. Surely we picked up the win here, going to the two legged semi finals. Surely. Um, but the, the performance to me actually brilliant here today. William just does a lovely one too with Shikawi. And uh, Shikawi getting the assist in that one. But with 30 minutes left, Norwich won the first another real attack of their game since they scored. But unfortunately, it's down to the keeper once again. Courtois. Courtois, not what? Hold on. Shikawi, rather. The game is, the video is lagging for some reason. I have absolutely no idea on my part. Whether it is on your part, I have absolutely no idea. But he runs into the edge of the box for a team effort. Aimed straight at for uh, Ben Foster. Uh, 15 minutes left now. We make a substitution. It's Shikawi off. Keesling on. Despite Shikawi playing a decent game, I decided, you know, Keesling. I just felt I need to give him a chance. William, 90th minute. Um, but that is how the game ended. We win 3 1 and go into a two legged semi final in January. Well, we are one step closer to retaining the Capital One. Cup. My next matching is Manchester United at home. It's Courtois in goal. It's pretty much the same team again, but Lucas Pearson comes in for Oscar and Keesling comes in for Yassin Shikawi. Apart from that, the team is exactly the same from what it was against Norwich in the Capital One Cup. Manchester United on the other hand, Lindegaard in goal. Rafael Rojo, smaller than short at the back. Daily Blint. Uh, Fellaini, Moutinho and Di Maria in midfield in the diamond shape formation in the diamond uh, midfield. Higuain and Rooney are partnered up front together. They are playing at a 4-4-2 diamond. 
that two minutes gone, we get appears on, on the ball, gives a shot away, forcing them got into a fantastic save, but Diego Costa, as you can see there, unfortunately goes out injured, and uh, we have to, we have to sum him off, and uh, we decide to win, Yassin should carry on, and in his place, and uh, we will see at the end, I think how, at the end of the uh, episode, I think how long he will be out for, and I think, if I remember rightly, it's a couple of months, but Shikawi, 22 minutes in, Plays the ball over to Aspili Quetta. We got the control Fabgas just receives the ball, rolls it back slightly, and just literally just places it beautifully in the top uh, right hand corner of the goal. Lovely goal by Fabgas. Linda got absolutely no chance of that. Shikawi coming forward for the fourth minute with an absolutely rubbish effort. Not going to get anywhere. Higuain. Fires wide, cross wide, had it covered up as a chance for Manchester United in the second half. Start the second half to bring us right back into the game. Fabregas on, Ramirez, uh, Fabregas off, Ramirez on rather. Chikawi coming forward once again. Plays it over to William, over to Matic. Plays it, just gets a shot away. Okay, I thought he passed it again, but he gets a shot away and caught Lindegaard. Makes a fantastic save. 80th minute gone, Chikawi powering through the Manchester United defence. And uh, it's 2 0. 80 minutes. And at first thoughts, so I thought Ramirez flicked that into the back of the net when actually he just sort of turned his body. Uh, as you can see from the replay here, he doesn't flick it at all. He just turns his body and gives Lindegaard no chance. Five minutes left. Manchester trying to get away back into this game. Uh, Higuain just gets denied by, uh, by Courtois. And. Uh, it's still 2 0 in the closing game. In the closing minutes to Manchester United. Moutinho whips it in towards Robin Van Persie. Over to Matter, who scores for Manchester United against Chelsea, his former club. And uh, he decides that going over to uh, Lindegaard to celebrate is the best option. Despite Lindegaard having absolutely no impact in that goal whatsoever, even though he was up for the corner. But very well taken. We didn't defend it. Matter had loads of space. That's his fifth goal of the season. William coming forward now, 90th minute, brilliant bit of pace, and uh, doesn't quite uh, pull it down the back of the net to secure the win on all three points, as Lindegaard matches it with the save, get the throw in taken, William whips it in to Lucas Pearson, plays it back to Ramirez, loses it, not quite, but Ramirez just fires very, in literally inches wide, and uh, Shikawi now, into added time, gets his shot away, palm straight into the path of Keating by Lindegaard, and uh, it's Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. Three points, staying in London at Stamford Bridge as Chelsea look to try and maintain their position at the top of the Premier League, and uh, that is how the game ended. We win the game at home to Manchester United in the Premier League by three goals to one. So it's St. Petersburg is the next game, and it's concluding us going in now and concluding the uh, group stages of the uh, the Champions League and uh, you'll see from the table in a minute the group table that this game is a must win if we lose this we stay in third and go into the knockout rounds of the Europa League Zenit as you can see they have uh, Neto at the back um, Hulk uh, Rondon Witzel Garcia so there's a few key names in that Zenit lineup that I can recognise. Um, but as, you, as you saw from the table, Zenit in second on ninth. We're in third on eighth. So it's a must win, as you guys know. Uh, Ishko comes in this time for Fabregas. And Ishko and Ramirez coming from Matic and Fabregas, respectively. Piers on maintains his place. Um, Shikawi comes in for the injured Diego Costa. Ten minutes gone. Zenit have a really good chance to hit the bar and then head over. Very unlucky not to score. Probably should have done hit the state of the defending. But Piers on plays it over to Keesling. Great chance. He's in on goal now. Surely he's got to score it. But the keeper matches it with a save. 15 minutes gone. On the brink of half time. Nothing happened in the first half at all really. And uh, hence why it's 0-0 at half time. And hence why there's been hardly any highlights of this match so far. But Ishko whips the one into the box straight into the keeper's hands. A very poor uh, corner kick to say the least. At the start of the second half. Five minutes gone. Uh, Zenit come forward, a lovely, lovely attacking piece of play. The, key, the defenders can do anything about it, Courtois can do anything about it, and Zenit take the lead. So as it stands, we are losing 1-0, which means we finish the group stage in third. 
And that means we go from the group stage to the Champions League down into the knockout round of the Europa League. Now playing, if we lose this, on a Thursday night. Aspilicueta, get received all from a Fabregas corner, I think. I think it was Fabregas, but he fires it wide anyway. 80th minutes played, 10 minutes left. Another corner and straight into the keeper's hands once again. And that is how the game ended. Unfortunately, we lose to Zenit St. Petersburg, meaning we go and play in the Europa League knockout rounds starting in February. 1-0 to Zenit at the end of the group stage. Well, guys, as you will know, that result against Zenit St. Petersburg means we go from the not group stage to the Champions League down into the last 32 of the Europa League. And... That performance, the performance that we put on against Zenit deserved a Europa League performance, to be brutally honest with you. Um, with regards to the other results, um, I can't even remember what they were. Oh yeah, Manchester United, we beat them 3-0, 3-1. Very, very good result there. And we obviously beat, also beat Norwich 3-1 in the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup, going to, into a two-legged semi-final in January against Sunderland. Next, I've also, I mentioned this, um, I have also had an, a message from the board. Um, I had an e I had emails from Oscar regarding that he would like his ways to be improved, and I just totally ignored it, being the bad manager that I am. But what I have done since that email, I've, I've offered him a contract once he declined it because he wasn't, role, wasn't happy with the role. So I've resubmitted it, and we are now waiting for Oscar to reply again, otherwise he is on the transfer list, something that we don't particularly want. Um, but a quick league table, Sunderland at the top of the league with 32 points, we are in second with a game in. And down the bottom, Derby County who haven't won a game yet this season, along with Cardiff and Fulham. Um, Everton are in 14, Arsenal in 9th, Liverpool, Manchester City and Manchester United make up the, I oh know, Live four and eight, sorry, but Manchester United, Manchester City, and QPR make up the Europa League spots. Aston Villa, Spurs, making up the rest of the Champions League places. Um, but next episode, we have West Ham in the Premier League, Sunderland in the Premier League, meaning that we have a top two battle coming up, and Tottenham away in the league. Then after that, we have Liverpool and Southampton, and. Then Stoke, which will probably potentially be transferred to an FA Cup match. Um, and obviously that marks the beginning of the transfer window. So I'm trying to get FIFA videos up as much as I possibly can. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode soon. See you later.